Long division is a step-by-step -step method for dividing the multi-digit numbers. It involves four basic steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down, and then repeating the process. Use the acronym DMSB, which stands for divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. It is an easy way to remember the steps of long division. Use any of these. Dirty monkeys smell bad, dad, mom, sister, brother, or does McDonald's sell burgers? Let's divide 768 by 3. To begin, ask how many times 3 goes into 7. That is, what's 7 divided by 3? The answer is 2, with a little left over. So write 2 directly above the 7. Now multiply 3 by 2 to get 6. Place the product directly below the 7 and draw a line beneath it. Subtract 6 from 7 to get 1. After you subtract, the result should be less than the divisor. In this problem, the divisor is 3. 3 is greater than 1, so it's okay. Then bring down the next number, 6, to make the new number 16. Now ask how many times 3 goes into 16. That is, what's 16 divided by 3? The answer is 5, with the remainder. So write 5 above the 6. Then multiply 3 by 5 to get 15. Write the product under 16. Subtract 15 from 16 to get 1. After you subtract, the result should be less than the divisor. 1 is less than 3, so it's okay. Then bring down the next number, 8, to make the new number 18. Another cycle is complete. So begin the next cycle by asking how many times 3 goes into 18. That is, what's 18 divided by 3? The answer this time is 6. Write down 6 above the 8, multiply 3 by 6, and place this below the 18. Now subtract 18 from 18 to get 0. Because you have no more numbers to bring down, you are finished, and the answer is 256. Let's try another example. Divide 4,351 by 6. To begin, ask how many times 6 goes into 4. None. That's because the first digit, taken by itself, is less than the divisor. 4 is less than 6. Write 0 or just leave a space above the 4. Let's group the 4 and the 3 together. Now ask how many times 6 goes into 43. That is, what's 43 divided by 6? The answer is 7, with a little left over. So write 7 directly above the 3. Now multiply 6 by 7 to get 42. Place the product directly below the 43 and draw a line beneath it. Subtract 42 from 43 to get 1. After you subtract, the result should be less than the divisor. 1 is less than 6, so it's okay. Then bring down the next number, 5, to make the new number 15. Now ask how many times 6 goes into 15. That is, what's 15 divided by 6? The answer is 2, with the remainder. So write the 2 above the 5 
and then multiply 6 by 2 to get 12. Write the product under 15. Subtract 12 from 15 to get 3. After you subtract, the results should be less than the divisor. 3 is less than 6, so it's okay. Then bring down the next number, 1, to make the new number 31. Another cycle is complete, so begin the next cycle by asking how many times 6 goes into 31. That is, what's 31 divided by 6? The answer is 5, with the remainder. So write the 5 above the 1, and then multiply 6 by 5 to get 30. Write the product under 31. Now subtract 30 from 31 to get 1. You have no more numbers to bring down. 1 is the remainder. You are finished. The answer is 725 with the remainder of 1. If you like this video, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.